let's take a look at dilations and how to find the coordinates. Write the coordinates of the vertices after a dilation with the scale factor of 5 centered at the origin. Okay, so a dilation means that we're sizing our figure up to be a bigger version of the same shape, or we're scaling it down to be a smaller version of the same shape. So after our dilation, we should get a similar triangle to the one that we see in the graph. The scale factor tells us how much we're changing it by. Now, if the scale factor is bigger than one, we're making our shape larger. If our scale factor is smaller than one, then we're shrinking it down or making our shape smaller. So notice they told us for this problem, our scale factor is five. So that means we're gonna make the shape five times larger. So to do that, we're gonna multiply all of our coordinates by five. Okay, so V was negative two, zero. To get to V prime, I'm gonna multiply those numbers by five. So times five. Okay, well negative two times five is negative 10 and zero times five is zero. Let's do the same thing, our next coordinates. We're gonna multiply our W coordinates by five to get to W prime, which just means the new W coordinates. Okay, well one times five is five, and negative one times five is negative five. Okay, and same thing, notice we're doing the same thing to all of our ordered pairs. They're all getting multiplied by five because our scale factor is five. Okay, so negative two times five is negative 10, and negative two times five is negative 10. So x prime is gonna be the ordered pair negative 10, negative 10. Okay, now in this case, they only asked us to write the coordinates, so we could just write that as our answer and be finished. But I wanna show you guys what happens if I plot these points so that you can see I get a similar triangle that's five times bigger than the little triangle you see there. So let's plot our V prime. V prime is negative 10, zero. Okay, so from the origin, I would go left to negative 10 and zero up or down. Okay, so that would be V prime. For W prime, five, negative five. Okay, so from the origin, I'm going five to the right and down five. So this point would be W prime. And then for x prime, negative 10, negative 10. So I'm going 10 to the left and 10 down. Okay, so I don't have a ruler here, so I'm gonna do the best I can to draw straight lines. It might not be perfect, but you can kind of get the idea. And hopefully you can tell this is a bigger version of the little green triangle, right? It's scaled up by a factor of five. And that's exactly what it means when we have a dilation, either scaled up for a, for a factor bigger than one, or it could also be scaled down if our scale factor was smaller than one. Write the coordinates of the vertices after a dilation of a scale factor of two centered at the origin. Okay, so just like last time, when I have a scale factor, I'm gonna multiply all of my coordinates by that number to see what my new coordinates are. So all of these coordinates, I'm gonna multiply by two, right, times two, because that's my scale factor. Okay, well one times two is two, and four times two is eight. So Q prime is two, eight. Let's do the same thing with R. We're multiplying both all of our coordinates by two, so three times two is six, and negative one times two is negative two. Okay, for S prime, well, one times two is two, and one times two is two. Okay, and again, if I plotted these points, I would have a bigger version of that triangle. But in this case, they only asked me for the ordered pairs.
write the coordinates of the vertices after a dilation with the scale factor of one third centered at the origin. Okay, so same idea, we're gonna make our shape bigger or smaller because it's a dilation. This time notice our scale factor is one third. So since our scale factor is smaller than one, we're gonna be making this triangle smaller. So you can multiply by one third, but remember multiplying by one third is the exact same thing as dividing by three. So I think it might be easier to say, let's divide all of our coordinates by three, right? So multiply by one third, same as divide by three. Okay, so we're dividing all of the coordinates by three. Six divided by three gives me two. Nine divided by three gives me three. So O prime is two, three. Nine divided by three is three. And negative six divided by three is negative two. So P prime, or the new P value, is three, negative two. Okay, Q was six, negative three. Let's divide both of those by three. Six divided by three gives me two. And negative three divided by three gives me negative one. Okay, so Q prime is two, negative one. And then dividing by three, we're doing the same thing to all of our coordinates here. Zero divided by three is zero, and six divided by three is two. Now, I wanna draw this one more time, just so you guys can see. Well, first of all, notice we divided all of our numbers by three, right? It would have been the same answer if we had chose to multiply by one third to get our new coordinates. And we should get a smaller version of this quadrilateral. Okay, so let's plot our points. Two, three, okay, two, three would be right here. That would be our O prime. 3, negative 2, okay, 3, negative 2, 3 to the right and down 2, that would be P prime, 2, negative 1, and 0, 2, okay, and that would be our R prime. So, and again, I don't have a ruler tool here, so I'm gonna do the best I can to draw straight lines. And hopefully, whoop, that one got a little, that one got a little wobbly on me. But hopefully you can see that it's a scaled down or smaller version of the shape you see in green. Write the coordinates of the vertices after a dilation with a scale factor of one quarter centered at the origin. All right, so again, dilation means we're making it bigger or smaller. Our scale factor is smaller than one, so we know we're actually gonna be making it smaller. So you can choose to multiply by one fourth, but remember that's the same exact thing as dividing by four. So I think it's gonna be easier to say, let's take all of our coordinates and divide them by four since our scale factor was one fourth. Okay, well eight divided by four is two, four divided by four is one. So K prime, two, one. Eight divided by four is two, and zero divided by four is zero. So L prime, or the new L, is two, zero. And again, I'm just dividing all of my coordinates by four. Okay, negative four divided by four, negative one. Negative eight divided by four, negative two. Okay, we have one last coordinate to divide by four. Negative four divided by four, one. Oops, negative one. And eight divided by four, two.